Uncle Ronald, the car is such a cool car. I also thought that, Chili, that it is a cool car. And talking about things that is cool, I read the other day about people that danced and danced for hours on end, and they said they did this, listen up, Chili, because they wanted to find something very cool, the coolest thing on earth. So they danced for hours on end to find the coolest thing on earth. Now what was the coolest thing that they were looking for, Uncle Ronald? They said they were looking for... Come, come a little closer. They were looking for plur. For plur. Yes, plur. Who is Plur? Not who is Plur, Chili, but what is Plur? So what is Plur, Uncle Ronald? It's peace, love, unity and respect. Plur. So they dance for hours on end to find peace, love, unity and respect. Plur. Did they find it? No, they were foolish, boys and girls, because you can't find peace, love, unity and respect by dancing for hours on end. Because after the long party, the world they woke up to was still a very sad world they lived in. But Chili, if they were looking for Plur, what does that mean? That they lost it, Uncle Ronald? Yes, and that is why we feel sometimes lonely, left out at school and even sometimes at home. Why we feel shy or embarrassed around other children. Why friends do things that hurt our feelings. For we also have lost just tell me again, Chili, why is boys handsome and girls beautiful? They are made in the image of God. They are wonderfully made. Yes, and Adam and Eve lived in a beautiful garden, the Garden of Eden, that God especially made for them. It was very, very beautiful. There was also tons and tons of peace and love because they loved each other deeply. And they walked and talked with God like he was their BFF. No discouraging words was uttered. Not even a frown was found on their faces. And the respect that they had for each other, it was truly something to treasure. Everything was fine, more than fine. It was wonderful, breathtaking, something to behold. It sounds like a place I would just love to live in. I am sure in such a place, everyone will be each other's BFF. But then they lost it all, Chili. Oh, no. They lost their peace, love, unity, and respect, Chili. Why, Uncle Ronald, why would anyone want to lose such wonderful gifts? God told them they can eat from all the fruit in the wonderful garden he gave them. But from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, they may not eat. That sounds like when Dad says, you may eat from all the goodies in the refrigerator, but the ice cream, it is mine. You may not eat from that. And then what do we do? <sighs> now, Satan the liar deceiver came to visit Adam and Eve. Nothing good happens when that guy is around. He told Eve, Eve, you must just grow up, stand on your own two feet and decide for yourself what is right 
for you. This that someone comes and tells you what you may or may not do is just not on. I mean, only you can know what is best for you. And another thing, God is withholding so much fun from you by not letting you eat from that fruit. What is the harm in eating from that fruit? You can be like God, Eve, and decide for yourself what is right and wrong for you. Come on, Eve, eat the fruit. You will truly enjoy it. The greatest joy awaits you, Eve. It is in your hand. So they ate the fruit. And they realized they just made a big, big mistake. After that, they hid away from God, could not stand in His presence. They felt guilt and shame. They also started accusing each other when God questioned them. Just hear what they said. Genesis 3 verse 12 the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit of the tree, and I ate. And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. It is like so when someone steals something and then gives someone else or something else the blame for what they did. Or maybe when mom and dad ask you, Why did you do this? Then you reply, it's not my fault, it is my brother or my sister's fault. Adam and Eve also lost respect for each other by accusing each other. They lost, plur. And from then on, boys and girls, friendship became hard. And you must realize, you are not the first one that struggles with friendship. Everyone does. But then, Uncle Ronald, is there no good news for us, for all of us that have lost Pleur? Oh, there is good news, Chile. God made a plan so that Pleur could be found and restored, that we truly can become BFFs with God and other boys and girls again. Wonderful news, news a person feel that you can truly dance and clap your hands about. <laughs>